Nicola Sturgeon's inconsistent plan in tatters as Scotland set to pass sovereignty to EU. Nicola Sturgeon's independence calls are inconsistent as the Scottish National Party SNP, leader would trade her country's newfound autonomy in the event of a referendum for EU membership, essentially making any ballot pointless. Ms Sturgeon continues to push her country towards a second independence vote, despite repeated refusals to entertain the idea from Prime Minister Boris Johnson. The coronavirus appears to have shifted opinion in favour of an independent Scotland however, with the approach of what is looking like a no-deal Brexit only furthering the desire for a second referendum. Yet, the country would immediately renounce one of its most sought-after characteristics, sovereignty, in the event of independence, as Ms Sturgeon and the SNP would hop back into bed with the Europeans. Scotland voted to remain a part of the EU in 2016, yet, as a part of the UK, automatically left the bloc in January along with England, Wales and Northern Ireland. And while many see why Scotland would therefore want to remain a part of Brussels, Mr Embury said Ms Sturgeon's logic flies in the face of her arguments for an independent Scotland. He explained, it's the policy on independence and the EU, they're completely inconsistent. They SNP, say they want to be independent from Britain because they think they'll be better off outside, yet the first thing they do is hop back into bed with the Europeans and trade their newly found sovereignty for membership of the EU club. That policy has always struck me as completely bizarre and I don't think they're ever probed enough on it to explain that inconsistency. Democratic control, national self-determination and identity, and full political decision-making transferred to Holyrood are cited as some of the main reasons for independence. Yet the country would be expected to sacrifice at least some of these newfound qualities should it rejoin the EU. Scotland would likely have to give up its own currency in exchange for the euro. While Ian Blackford, leader of the SNP in the House of Commons, said in 2019 that Scotland wouldn't necessarily have to adopt the euro, fact-checkers have since refuted this claim. The EU has been consistent on the point that joining the exchange rate mechanism ISNT voluntary, with membership of it helping to stabilise the outgoing currency and smooth the transition into the eurozone, for two years. Then European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker said in 2017 that the euro is meant to be the single currency of the European Union as a whole. All but two of our member states are required and entitled to join the euro once they fulfill the conditions. Only the UK and Denmark secured legally binding opt-out from the eurozone, through the Maastricht Treaty.